Hi everyone, it's Jan Diadri back in the Eye Health Kitchen. I've got a fantastic Sunday supper for you. Ricotta dumplings with homemade tomato sauce and whole wheat pasta. Doesn't that sound good? You know, Reader's Digest was a brand that I've trusted for years and when I came across their healthy cooking book that was published a few years ago, I fell in love with this recipe and when it was published, you didn't have the choices for pasta. But these days you can do quinoa pasta, whole wheat pasta, rice pasta, as well as the regular wheat pasta. So you've got a lot of choices there, but the dumplings really make this. So it all starts on the cooktop and it's a very busy place. Come on. Now we're gonna make a beautiful tomato sauce fresh in just about eight minutes and it starts as everything delicious does with a beautiful sweet yellow onion you have a choice in the store to have a brown onion yellow onion or a sweet like a Vidalia or a Walla Walla always go for the sweet yellow onion it's gonna cost you a little bit more but it's so well worth it one nice large chopped onion and a couple of cloves of garlic and I've sauteed those in a little bit of uh, olive oil a couple of tablespoons of olive oil just to get them nice and softened now the next thing I'm gonna add a couple of bay leaves always adds great flavor those are large so I'm just putting two in there the other thing that you want to do with this tomato sauce is use an organic crushed tomato. It just gives the sauce such a sweetness in eight minutes. I like giving my sauce just a little bit of a kick, so I'm adding some red pepper flakes. Maybe a little pinch of salt and a little bit of pepper, which you sort of usually want to do at the very end of the cooking process. All right, I'm going to set this aside because I've got one already done right here and look at that beautiful sweet tomato sauce in eight minutes that's set to go turn that off and now let's make the ricotta dumplings now the ricotta dumplings super easy to put together and they're a great alternative if you don't want meatballs these are cheesy and just delicious it starts with some ricotta and I'm gonna give you a little tip you're gonna find the container in the store Open up this plastic lid because it's already, it's going to be sealed with the plastic. Take a peek at it. If it looks like it's grainy, then don't buy it because it looks like it's been pre-frozen. So uh, make sure that it looks nice and smooth and you're not breaking the seal. So that's a good tip for you. Okay, so it starts with a little bit of ricotta. You can use the skim, but I prefer the whole milk ricotta. It just gives it a lot of flavor. And then we're going to add some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Now we need to bind it a little bit, so I'm using some flour here. You could use whole wheat flour if you like. This is white flour. Now normally the tomato sauce would have the basil, but in this case, the basil goes into the ricotta dumpling. It kind of gives it kind of a little speckly look. Really, really flavorful. And then the last ingredient is just an egg white. So just carefully slip that egg white right in there. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna add just a little pinch of salt just a tad alrighty we're gonna mix this together and what I'm gonna do is form these into balls about an inch in diameter because as you'll see once we pop them in the boiling water they're gonna get a little bit bigger look at that perfect now if you find that your mixture is a little bit too moist or too wet you can add a little bit more cheese or a little bit more flour but this recipe that I'm giving you is just right so you're gonna take the mixture and just very gently roll it into about one inch ball and that's ready to go into the boiling water. All right, let's do that. So I'll put that one right in there and I've got some of the ricotta dumplings already cooking in here. They've been cooking for about two or three minutes and you know they're done when they come to the surface and these look like they're just about done. Aren't they beautiful? And supper is on the table. Look at those ricotta dumplings. Aren't they beautiful? So I've got my whole wheat pasta cooked to perfection. I've got the sauce already made, which only took about eight minutes to do. So we're just gonna plate it up with some nice, beautiful whole wheat pasta on the bottom. And then I'm gonna just kinda slather some of that beautiful organic tomato sauce right on top. And now let's get those beautiful ricotta dumplings 
Just drain them off a little bit and we'll put those right on top. Isn't that gorgeous? Now that is a fantastic Sunday supper. Okay, let's do one more. <laughs> Beautiful. And then if you want to top it off with some great fresh grated Parmesan cheese, you can do that as well. There you go. Beautiful ricotta dumplings in homemade organic tomato sauce and whole wheat pasta. It just doesn't get any better than that. Now we've got the recipe for you online right here at iHealth Networks. Uh, come back often. We're always cooking up something fantastic and we would love to hear what's cooking in your kitchen. So give us an email. We'd love to hear from you. And we'll see you next time in the iHealth Kitchen.